Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are going to have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, Hi, so what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You want to make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hi everybody. Hello my Chocoholics. How you doing Amanda? Hey Julie. Hey Nikki. How you guys doing? Um, so today we're going to do um, an abbreviated version of the last one I did. If you guys saw the menu board video that I showed the picture of, it's been hanging up and we use it and I love it. Um, you know what? I meant to put this picture in here and I didn't. So let me do that. <laughs> my transfer, my reusable silkscreen transfer has been cut up and used again and again. So this is what this transfer. Oh, I, Amanda, girl, I, you are living your best life right now. I get it. I saw the pictures of your tacos today. <laughs> so, um, here is our transfer. This is an E size reusable silkscreen transfer. It is an 18 by 24 inch and look at all of these pieces. We have the big menu, um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and drinks. We have all the days of the week, um, today's special, this week. Look at all the salt and pepper shakers. There um, is just a lot going on on this transfer. And if you saw my picture I posted today, I did one for the whole week because when I plan, I like to plan that way. I want to know what I'm having for dinner. I don't usually plan breakfast because I don't usually eat breakfast. Um, and lunch sometimes is a little willy-nilly. I'm not like a, um, I guess I say I'm not really a three meal a day or like I like my coffee in the morning. I like, um, I drink these ketone drinks. Um, not as much as I should. Uh, and then what else? Sometimes I have lunch. Sometimes I don't. I like to snack sometimes, as you can tell. <laughs> like today I didn't have lunch and I didn't have any breakfast, but I did have some Dairy Queen for lunch. <laughs> I guess it's lunch, right? I picked the boys because um, they went cherry picking for me. Um, and then I had some cherries as my snack. Um, and then I didn't really eat until dinner, which we just finished eating. So, yeah. And tomorrow I'll probably just have coffee for breakfast, right? So, let me share my workstation with you guys. Well, let me put me on there too. What am I doing? Hold on. Uh, I decided to run on the treadmill um, before dinner. And I, hey Patty, I can't get it together. So this is one of our Odette boards. Um, this board comes in three different sizes. I should probably lift you guys up. Let me see if I can do it without, oh, I can't lift you up much without messing it up. Um, it comes in three different sizes. This is our um, 12 by 18. I think it's perfect for a nice daily menu board. Let me see here if I can 
and get all of it in. Kind of. We'll just go with that. Um, and what a nice little give us this day our daily bread. I love this transfer. If you love this transfer too, I just want to let you know it is on last chance, okay? But I chose a 12 by 18 for, um, for the daily. And even if you had an Aiden, like I have a 12 by 18 Aiden, I also have um, a nine by 12 Aiden. These would be perfect as well because they're magnetic. So you could even make, say you have a rotation of dinner, you could just stick magnets on the board. You can make your own magnets and you can, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. This Odette is not a magnet, but you will see if you go to my chalk site that with the cost of this board, you'll want to do everything with these, okay? So as you can see, Chalk Couture does not budge. So I don't have to worry about this messing up at all. What am I looking for? Dun -dun -dun. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this wet with water. Oh, I love this design on here. I can't believe I didn't hang it, so that's okay. Oh, look, I'm out of, I'm gonna have to fill this back up with some water. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm glad that the transfers are reusable because I do eventually wanna hang this somewhere. But for this video purpose, we're going to go ahead and take it off. And I'm using my paste scraper, okay? Um, and all you have to do is go like this. It gets all of the paste off of your surface. And then you could use a board eraser or a paper towel. To get it off, all right? So I'm going to take this and... Just wipe this. I'm probably gonna need that board eraser to get all of this residue off, right? All right. So I just went and grabbed my board eraser and look at that, it just gets everything off. This is the true magic eraser. <laughs> Look at that. So all we're gonna do is that, and then look, our surfaces are ready to use again. So you can design, love, and repeat. Hey, Joanne. Jo Joanne, I have a little something here for you, actually, that I forgot to leave out last time for you. You got a freebie with your purchase, and I have it here. All right, so here now we have a perfect board. And what I love about this board that's different than the board I showed you a picture of is because this has a white background, we could do any colors. I feel like my other chalkboard with my menu, it would look best to do the white um, on, the, on the black chalkboard because it kind of pops. But this is a whole new playground, right? Okay, so... As you saw in the picture, this one comes with a lot of pieces. We're not gonna use a lot of these. Like that's the big menu that I used. We have the salt and pepper shaker, um, all the days of the week. I'm not gonna use that for this one. We have um, silverware. We have um, this week, if you're doing a week board. We have today's special. We have all kinds of embellishments, but we're going to do just a daily board like today's special. So let's think, let me take a sip to think hmm, what we would like to do. So I'm gonna grab one of my buzzing cloths here and I've never used this transfer. So I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna write on the back what it is. This way I know which backer goes with that transfer, okay? Um, because the side that you want your transfer to stick to is very glossy. Do you see that glossiness? And you wanna make sure you stick it back on the right side or else you're gonna be sad because it's gonna be like sticking your transfer on paper and it's gonna kinda stick to it and um, peel up. Hi, Debbie. So, and it's also good for when you're cleaning up, you know what goes with what. 
So we have today's special. I'm just going to fuzz it. That means I'm going to lift it and put it back down on this terry cloth. You could use a clean cloth as long as you can pick up some lint. And what that does is it makes it a little less sticky, okay? You want it a little less sticky so that um, you don't stretch your transfer when you're peeling it up and that you're not also messing up whatever surface you're using it on um, because not all surfaces are created equal. You don't really have to worry about a chalk couture surface per se because you know it's gonna be nice quality. But some of those surfaces you get on sale, it may just be like a spray um, chalk surface. And when you go to peel off your transfer, the adhesive part might lift up some of that spray. So you wanna make sure that this is good. I think that's it centered where I want it. So um, let me just see what I wanna do with this. So I feel like we're gonna do today's special. Maybe we'll do some type of, maybe we'll do some type of some thing. Gosh, you think I'd had all day to think about it in my mind, but I've been so busy Maybe we'll just do, who knows, who knows, who knows, we'll do. And then we'll, we can do today's special breakfast. We can always put these on the side of each word, breakfast. But then you might be able to tell that I'm not centering. <laughs> so we have breakfast. And then what if we did lunch? And then what if we did dinner and dessert? Oh, that would be perfect, right? Let me see, we can always take these. Um, we'll find a way to embellish this, maybe. It may look good just like old style, like that. So let's think about a color. What color do you guys think? I guess it would really depend on your kitchen. Um, what color you do. Like I am such a um, neutral person. The first thought I had was, oh, we'll just use black velvet. <laughs> but then I know that probably is not too fun for you. But if this was going in my house, that's what I would do. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my black velvet. Maybe we can just um, embellish it with another color. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. Hi, Courtney and I'm going to stir this up. And I like my chalk paste to be the consistency of say like um, a Greek yogurt. And if it's not, I'm going to put a little bit of distilled water in and mix it up. Distilled water is preferred because who knows what's in that faucet water. Um, our chalk paste is organic and the minerals in the um, faucet water sometimes can cause molding to happen or some foaming I've I've heard so let's see I'm going to gonna put some black chalk paste on here and then I'm gonna grab just one of my little minis and then I'm gonna spread the chalk paste over the silk screen okay and if you go off the silk screen onto your board it's okay because you can just wipe it off remember this is all chalk if you do a color that you're trialing and you realize you don't like it, it there's no big deal you just wipe it off and pick a different color that's what i love about it if you were being festive for the holiday and you want to do red and green for christmas um you can do that and then we're just going to peel this off now you want to peel it before it dries all right i'm going to take this and put it right back on the backer sheet see how now i know what side it goes on because I wrote on the back. And I'll take that to the sink when we're done and I'll just wash it off. Now there's a little bit up here that I went off of that. It's okay, because I can just wipe it off, see? Ta-da! And look how easy that was. We have our today's special done. I'm just gonna dry it with my little dryer here so I don't put my finger in it and mess it up. You don't have to do this, and once it's dry, you'll be able to touch it and it won't mess up. So there's today's special. Let me see. Where 
than I do. Let's see. I'm just going to fuzz this and see if I want to go I thought I wanted to do it this way and this way, but it's not really angled that way. Um, I'm gonna show you guys perhaps a different trick because there's only one of these, right? So I'm gonna show you something. Let's see if it works on this board. I'm gonna put it right like this, okay? But I kinda want it like this. I want it more so I have more room. Let's say I put it here. Let's see. Yeah, let's say I put it there. And let's say I got a nice kitchen green like pesto. Okay, watch this. So I'm gonna get this pesto. I'm trying to remember if I wash in between or if I just do it. So let, let's just see. I'm gonna, I think I, I wash it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pesto on there and then I'm going to take another mini squeegee and get off the extra like that. And then I'm going to peel that up. You see that there? Then I wanna put this on the other side. So I want a reverse design. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it over here and I am going to hold it down. Now there's no adhesive holding it down for me, okay? I'm using my fingers and I'm holding it down. Let's see if I have this where I want it. I think so. So I'm holding it with my fingers. I'm gonna take more paste and put it on there and then I'm gonna be very, very careful because there's no adhesive holding it down. And I'm gonna go over that silk screen again on the adhesive side, okay? I'm holding it down, but I'm doing the reverse. And then we're gonna peel it, ta-da! And we have, okay, that's really, really not centered <laughs> in the least. Hold on, hold on. I did a bad job with that. Let's take it off. <laughs> Let's take that off. I tried to do it, but I was not centered. So I took my board eraser and we took it away. We'll try again. I'll try again. Let's see. Now there's so much paste on it. We'll have to see if we can do it. But I did not do I thought I had it pointed the right way, but the angle was off. Let me see. Would it be more like that? Like that? Let's see. I'm gonna hold it taut. At this point, I'm probably gonna get paste all over the place, but let's try. We're gonna go like this. And then we're gonna peel it up. Mm, it's too far away, huh? <laughs> it's too far away. Come on, Michelle. I've only had a few sips of wine. Hold on. All right. At least you can see that you can do the reverse. Maybe we need to lessen the angle. Maybe I'll... I can't, I can't get it right now because now I've done it too many times and there's paste on the side. Mm, hold on. Maybe if we went... Let's try this way. Or did we already do that? Maybe if I look at the screen. All right. So I'm gonna hold it down. Let's try this way. Maybe I didn't do this much of an angle. And then at this point, there's probably paste going through that I don't want there, but we can fix that. This is just to show you that you can reverse Okay, it's not perfect, but you know what we could do is we could just add more. Hold on. 
But did you see how I reversed that? I kind of like it. Maybe I'll just add another one. Like here. How would that look? How would that look if we cross them? Now I'm just getting paste all over the board. This is what I love about Chalk Couture is that you can kind of play around. Let me see. We have that. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking it would be really cute if I added a utensil here. All right, so you see, oh look, I just touched that with the end of that, that we have a little gap there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these utensils and I'm gonna put a fork right here. Right there. <laughs> I'm gonna put a fork right there and I'm gonna grab my gray storm and I only want that fork. So I'm gonna take my storm and I'm going to stir it up. I'm gonna put some on there and I'm gonna take one of the squeegees. This is a small squeegee that I've cut and I'm just gonna do that fork because I wanna fill that space because I did not do a good job of spacing, but I also want some embellishments. And maybe we'll put some embellishments on the bottom with that um, knife and the spoon. Ta-da, so we have a fork there. We'll keep this out in case we wanna use the other ones. All right, let me clean up my mess here. There we go. That's really cute. Today's special and we have a fork there. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and get our bird breakfast. Let me go ahead and dry that fork so I don't mess it up with the word breakfast in case some of the adhesive overlaps. Do breakfast. Oh, I need you back. How have you been, Courtney? Let's do lunch. Oh, I didn't write on these. Hold on. Lunch. I haven't used these yet. Breakfast. Let's see, dessert, dinner, we'll do lunch, how's that look, lunch, dessert, dinner. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll put dessert right here because that is like the most important part of the day, right? And then I'm just fuzzing dinner. And we'll put dinner right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead with my black velvet and put some on each one. And then I'm gonna take a new mini squeegee and just go over that. So you could do a weekly, you can do a daily, you could just do dinner and drinks because there is one here that says drinks. That's really cute. You can mix and match transfers and use a transfer that has um, food or drinks. We're just gonna go like this and get off all of that excess. And then we'll peel them up before they dry. There's breakfast. Lunch. Dinner. and dessert, let's see. 
And then we'll dry this before we move on. Oh, this is really cute. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. This is good if you really go on the fly and you don't really plan super ahead. Um, where did that little squiggle? There is a little squiggle here, so you could use that as your separators. Um, I'm gonna use these utensils and I'm gonna put just a spoon here. Actually, let's do the knife here. Let's, we'll, do, we'll do a knife here. Or should we do it higher? So it's not like at the, well, we'll do it down here. Let me see, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder if we should put this at the bottom. Hey, Terry. So I'm going to go ahead and fuzz this. But we have to make sure we have room for our dessert. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, I think that'll look good there. We'll put this here. You want to make sure you get all the... Oh, can you guys even see? I'm going to make sure... You get all of the air bubbles out. And then I'm going to add more of that pesto. And then we're just going to chalk it and then remove all the excess. I really love this pesto. Okay. And then we're just going to peel up our transfer and that just makes a cute little embellishment at the bottom hey rosemary how you doing my gosh girl you 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 posted some amazing projects in the vip group today i love it love it love it Ugh. you're definitely getting a lot of entries for the month <laughs> giveaway in that vip group so guys, if you're not in the VIP group, make sure you get in there. Okay, so now that looks really good there. Let's go ahead and put a knife here and we'll use our storm again. We're getting kind of close to the other object. So I'm gonna take one of my squeegees that has been cut even a little smaller and we're just going to chalk that and put the extra back in there. Perfect. And then we're going to peel that up and then we're going to move over and do our spoon right here. I'm just going to dip my little squeegee into the jar and then Go like this. Oh, I think I have an air bubble there. There's something underneath it. Oh, a big piece of, hold on. We may have to redo this one. Look at that. There was a big chunk of chalk paste on the back, but it's okay. What we'll do is we'll wipe this, we'll wipe the spoon off. See, there's no crying and chalking. It's okay. You can just wipe it off and redo it. There's no messing up. That's the beauty of chalk. All right. So I got that piece off. Oh, that was a big old thing there. And let's put our spoon down again. I think I got some paste on there. That's all right. At least there's not a big old air bubble. Bubble is trouble. Don't forget that. And then I'm going to get off all of this excess. Oh, I think I have another little air bubble, but not as big as the other one, so it's okay. Let me wipe my finger off. Oh, yeah, you couldn't really tell there was one there. And then I'm going to put my transfer there. All right, so let's see what we have now. Let's see what we have here. Oh, it turned out so cute. I'm going to hold it up, and then I'm going to show you what you can do with it. So here is T 
today's special and we can write in, look at that, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a dessert. Oh, we didn't leave a lot of room for dessert. <laughs> That's because um, I guess I shouldn't be having much. But so here's what we're going to do. So we have today's special you can see at the top. And let's just say this is tomorrow. All you have to do is take your chalk couture chalk marker. Now these comes in pack, these come in pack of two. The one you saw me write on um, was a white marker. Thanks, Rosemary, is a white marker because it is, I have to test this to make sure this is primed. Oh yeah, perfect. Um, I forgot I used it. Let me see. Because I used a black chalkboard. This is a white chalkboard, so we can use the black. We also have gold and silver. Um, I don't know if Sue was on here, but she got that as a free little gift from her order last month. Or was it this month? I don't remember when it was. So the good news about Chalk Couture is it's not going to budge. So you can touch this. Look, I am rubbing the word breakfast. It's not going anywhere. Okay. But you can erase this as you want. So let's say I'm talking about tomorrow. Hey, Kim. And for breakfast, we're going to have, let's see, what is my son going to have? He's going to have pancakes and bacon. So you can write pancakes and bacon. And then for lunch, we'll probably be at the skate park, but he's gonna have peanut butter sandwich. And he always has Pringles, okay? For dinner tomorrow, he's gonna have a sloppy joe. And my son, of course, all he wants for dessert are Oreos. <laughs> all right, Oreos. So all you have to do is take your chalk marker, write what it is for the day, and you don't have to worry about erasing everything because all you're gonna need to do is take a paper towel or your board eraser. And let me show you how easy it is. Let me rinse this because I have a lot of black velvet on here. So you don't have to worry that if you're erasing your foods that you're going to mess up your words because as long as you don't rub it with water it'll be okay even if you get it wet usually it stays put and will dry so watch so all i have to do is take off that maybe he changed his mind right and we'll dry that maybe he really wants what do i make him sometimes waffles so if he wants waffles, bam, we have waffles. But you may wake up tomorrow and he may want just cereal. Wipe it away, right? Because you know how kids change their mind with what they want to eat, you know? One week you buy bananas, he eats them all. The next week you have eat bananas that have gone bad and you have to make banana bread. And look at this. We'll erase lunch. We'll erase sloppy joes. And we'll erase Oreos. And all you have to do is wipe it off and there's nothing messed up, right? And you could do this every day. Now, if you really love this and you're worried that you are going to want to keep it forever and you don't want to mess up with the words, hey, Lynn, all you have to do is go ahead and do this on your board, okay? And then you could use something like, where did I put it? Hold on. So this is, um, thanks Lynn, this is a matte sealer with a chalky finish, okay? So normally you want to seal your stuff with polyurethane or something that's matte. What is so good about a um, chalky finish is that even if you use this to seal your work, um, you can still chalk on it. So it leaves a chalky surface so you could seal this whole entire board with this and still use chalk on top of it and erase that part. So you could seal all of this, chalk wherever you want. You could just wipe the whole board off and everything else will just stay on there, okay? Yay! <laughs> I do wanna 
leave you with this um my chalk site here in case you want to get this transfer i don't know if this is still going to be here for the new catalog i'm not sure yet they haven't told us yet what is staying and what is going um but this is a cute little daily one and like i said this transfer let me show you guys all the pieces in it again comes with all of this so you get the big menu you get um all the days of the week I showed you here how I took that embellishment and re reversed it by chalking on the reverse side. That's a tip I don't know if I've shown lately. And you get all those cute little things. Okay, so thank you for joining me. I hope you love this project. I can't wait to see your own menu boards and what you're having for dinner. <laughs> okay, so I will put a picture in there and I'll scribble some um, fake food on there so you guys can get an idea of how you use these markers. So um, thank you for joining me and I look forward to talking more this week. Bye.